Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day 22. So, yesterday I introduced you to the simple and easy way that you can create a brand new opportunity. We looked at the difference between potential and probable income. Today, before we dive into all of the tabs inside of an opportunity, I wanted to go back and talk to you about client update items. Now that we have an actual opportunity, that will make a little bit more sense and we can walk through that process. So let's dive into our opportunities applet. And you'll remember when we talked on day 20 about our custom stages, we introduced you to the ability to actually create checklists inside those custom stages and the items that might be included within them. When you create a checklist item, you have a decision whether that's internal facing or whether I might want to make that external facing, meaning it would automatically fire an email to my clients on my behalf. So I'm going to use the example of our listing pipeline. We're in our under contract phase and we're at the appraisal stage. So let's say we've already gone through option period and inspections. Option period is what we call it in Texas. We've gone through inspections. Now we're waiting on appraisal. So we're going to come into our stages and checklists. We've got the appraisal stage here and our checklist is currently empty. So it might be follow up with lender on appraisal order date. Right, so we're gonna make sure, hey, did we ask when it was ordered? Okay, and then we might wanna follow up with lender on anticipated, anticipated, there we go, receipts of appraisal date. Create, and then we might wanna add an item that says confirm appraisal received with client. All right, so we've got it and we wanna make sure that the appraisal was received. We might even wanna have one in here that says send copy of appraisal if available to client. All right, so now we've got four checklist items. All four of these items are internal facing, meaning I'm the only one that can see them. My client can't see them. No one else is involved in these items unless potentially I have a team. Maybe I have some team members involved in it. But right now, it's essentially just me looking at these items. Well, what if I wanted a checklist item that when I received an appraisal and we made value, I could just check one box and it would automatically send an email to my clients, letting them know that we have received the appraisal, we have made value, and if a copy is available, we will be emailing it to you shortly. I can go ahead and add an item, and that item might say, Congratulations, we have received the appraisal of your property and you have made or exceeded value. Marty will email a copy of the appraisal if available to you shortly. Now that seems like a very long task name. Right, but I'm going to go ahead and create that task. That task is actually going to go between these two. So we got it. We're going to send a copy, but we need to let the client know we got it. So we're going to shift this one by clicking on the six dots and dragging it here. And then we're going to mark that this is a client update item. So the first step in creating a client update is to indicate, actually create a checklist item that you want to be a client update. Okay, that's step number one. So now that we have this checklist item, we're gonna go ahead and click on save. Next, we're gonna come to the gear icon. You can see we now have one client update item inside of our appraisal checklist. There's five items there, but one of them is a client update. So how do we set up the actual client updates to begin firing? We need to do a little bit more work. We're gonna click on the gear icon we're gonna be taken into our settings menu and you can see this is command settings and then we're underneath the opportunity settings menu and the client update submenu. 
So next up, we need to tell command, hey, when do you want me, when, in, when do we want command to check for opportunities? By default, 6 p.m. shows up. I would recommend, and actually I don't know if by default 6 o'clock shows up. I think I may have changed this previously. I always recommend to have command check at the end of your business day. Such that way, because command's only gonna check every 24 hours. So if it checks every, six, uh, every day at 6 p.m., hey, has Marty checked off any client update items? And if so, then we'll fire the email to the clients designated on the actual opportunity, right? So you can change whatever time you want command to check for this. My recommendation again, towards the end of your business day. Who will the email that gets sent come from? Well, right now I'm an individual agent and an individual agent account, so the only option is owner. Who do I want this client update to be sent to by default? This can be changed per opportunity, but by default, if there's a co-client, do I want both the client and the co-client to receive it? Or do I want only the primary client to receive it? And then do you want a copy of that email to be sent to you? I recommend leaving this on for the first few opportunities and then you can decide how you wanna move forward from there. So Marty, what does the email actually look like? Well, you can see that we can come into the email template and click on preview and it will show us what this actually looks like. Now, inside of this demo account, we've got some things kind of happening in the background. So don't worry so much about what this looks like at the top, but this would be the market center logo, the agent name and phone number, and then the agent's headshot. Next up, we've got the contacts name the address if it was associated with the opportunity, and then down here you would actually see the checklist item itself, right? So this is where it would say, congratulations, you have made value. Marty will send you a copy if one is available. That's why that checklist item was so long because that's what's actually gonna show up on their email. So step number two was to verify the times you want command to check, who's going to send it, who's going to receive it, and who gets a copy. The last thing that we need to do is to turn on client update items per opportunity. By default, client updates are not turned on. So we've got Marge and Homer. Let's just fast forward and they are now under contract. So if I want to move them from one phase to another, I'm going to click and drag the opportunity just like we did yesterday, moving stage to stage. But now I'm going to move it where it is over the phase. And do you see the little icon right now? It's going from pointer to hand, pointer to hand. We want it to be pointer and then we're going to let go and it's going to move it to the furthest left stage. This is option period. In this case, we're actually in the appraisal stage. So we will click and drag there and we'll see that our checklist shows up. But we also have this big box that says client updates off. Well, in order to turn those on, we're gonna click on the three dots, we're going to view our details, and then we're going to come up to the client update button inside the opportunity and make sure that it is turned on. Now it says send daily progress emails. It's only gonna send an email if you check off an actual client update item on that checklist. Here basically it's just confirming those default selections that we just made. You want us to go out at six o'clock. It's gonna come from the owner. Who's getting copies? In this case, I don't need a copy to also go to the assignee and the owner. So I can uncheck one of these. If anyone else in your world needs to get a copy, so maybe if there's an attorney involved, there's another family member involved, someone else on your team should get one you can see that you can add a contact here, and then I can save changes for this specific opportunity. Finally, if we come back to the checklist, we can click on our little checklist by clicking on this box in the bottom right. If I were to check off this client update item, you can see I'm gonna go ahead and check it off. At this point, at 6 p.m. today, an email would go out to Marge, to Homer, and a copy to me with this client update information being received. So that's it for client updates. Again, a three-step process, building out the actual update inside your checklist, verifying the settings 
are the way that you want them inside of your settings menu. And then finally, turning them on per opportunity. That's it for today, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.